What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. We have another iron face-off here today, this time pitting variations of the bench press up against each other to determine which one is the one. If I had to choose just one, that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck. Now, I gotta say right at the bat, in all these iron face-offs, I like everything we do. There's, a, there's a, a purpose and a meaning for everything that we do that we're gonna cover here today, but again, gun to my head, which one am I gonna pick? I'm gonna have to pick one. So we're gonna break them down one by one, and it starts right here with the dumbbell variation of a bench press. So now, why are we doing a dumbbell bench press? A couple reasons. Number one, we do know that this is an exercise that we can load up fairly heavy and use as a progressive overload exercise. We can get a great range of motion with the dumbbells because they can actually come down slightly lower than the chest itself. That might be stopped by the barbell. And we also have here the opportunity to create a bigger range of motion because as I bring my arms up straight, I can also bring them towards each other. However, I will caution you on this. Do not think that this is a, a resisted adduction exercise. It's not, because when we're in this plane here, whether we slide left and right is not really impacted by the weight that's in our hands because gravity is acting downward on these weights. What you are feeling is your ability to contract your chest into more adduction, but it's not a factor of the resistance of the dumbbells providing extra there. So be careful about that. But that brings us over to this, and this is a standing machine press. And some guys might go, I knew it. Jeff was gonna say, the athletic standing exercise is gonna be the best option. So it'd be something that looks like this. We come out here and we press out. We get into a staggered athletic stance. We press out in front of us. We have more resisted adduction here, right? And it is ground-based. However, two things wrong here. Number one, this requires a tremendous amount of core activation to put myself in position to do this properly. As I start to load up, I have to push this weight out towards you as much weight as I possibly can handle if, if I'm looking for that progressive overload. But each amount of weight that I have to push out towards you is gonna be countered by the fact that my core has to be able to stabilize that and keep me here, right? Because the weights are gonna to try to pull me back. I have to stay here and I only can do that with my core activation, which means you better have a pretty strong ass core to overcome the fact that you're gonna to wanna to press some heavy weights, I don't think you're gonna be able to keep up in that race, all right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is, of course, getting into position here and then having the adduction. Again, it's not optimal when it comes to adduction because of the angle here of the weights. Now, you might be thinking, I knew the cables are still what Jeff likes. He's gonna to wanna to go down to a flat bench and do cables like this. Well, now, in this case, you are getting a tremendous amount of resisted adduction at the top. You have peak resistance at the top of this range of motion because of the cables. But one thing you do not have is a good opportunity to smoothly do this exercise. You better be able to curl a hell of a lot of weight because you gotta pick this cable up from this down position and get into position on the bench to be able to perform it. And that is a struggle in itself. And I can tell you this, no matter how much you can bench press, you're never going to be able to curl that much uh, wait to get yourself in place to do it. So where does that bring us? It leaves us over here with the good old barbell bench press. So now guys, what is the good advantage here of the barbell bench press? Is this, is this the winner? Well, I'll tell you this, the barbell bench press provides us with a slightly less amount of range of motion because we're simply pushing this up straight overhead, but we do not have that adduction component because our hands are fixed here by the bar. So there's slightly less range of motion in that regard. However, I, I minimized the contribution of that extra range of motion when we talked about the dumbbell bench press. What you do have here though, is because we don't have to worry about the demand of stabilization that the dumbbells provide, is an opportunity to push more weight. So we can get here in the barbell setup, come down and press, not sacrificing all that much in terms of depth at all, even though the bar is stuck, you know, in terms of how low it can go because of your chest, but what you have is an opportunity to press more weight. And as anybody that's performed this lift can, can tell you, it's that you have a greater dispersion of the weight in a longer distance here, more like a seesaw than you do when all that weight is concentrated in your hand in a dumbbell, which makes it a little easier to press this, sometimes in the order of 20% more weight here. So if you're looking for an exercise that's going to build your strength, this is the winner. And we know how important, guys, as a strength and conditioning coach, strength is to the foundation of what you do. A barbell bench press will be the winner. I will offer you one other combination, though, however. If you're looking to create more hypertrophy, more stress, more inefficiency, as I talked about in our videos before, when it comes to applying stress to your chest so that you get more, uh, more growth, what you'd wanna do is perform your bench press. 
but then come right up into here and perform a standing crossover. Something that allows you to get into resisted adduction with a much more significant weight. The dumbbell bench press is not applying that, right? There is no real resistance up top here because you're in that frontal plane. Here, I'm actually using all my strength to be able to create that adduction across the body with a much more significant amount of, uh, of stress again, and, and, and weight against this adduction. So I have the ability to overload the adduction and I do it in a drop set format that allows me to take that bench press one step further. Throw in the fact, yes again, that we're on our feet for that athletic additional benefit that always comes from being on your feet. So guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. We have others in the Iron Face Off series that you're going to want to check out. In the meantime, let me know what else you want me to cover, and I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. If you haven't already, guys, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video when it's published. And if you're looking for programs that put the science back in strength, head to Athenex right now and get our Athenex training program. Guys, I'll see you back here again in just a couple days.